Hello, my name is Dr. Kalietta Valley, and I'm a family physician. Based training in family medicine has allowed me to take and explore my career in ways I never imagined. Currently, I am the Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine's Family Medicine Clerkship Director, as well as a Global Health Co-Director. I'm also a faculty at the Beaumont Family Medicine Residency Program at the Beaumont Troy uh, facility. And I would say that I'm able to do all these different things because of my family medicine background. What I mean by that is not just specialty choice, but the type of training I received as a family physician. I am an educator, I'm an administrator, um, and I see patients. I'm a family physician. Um, I also round in the hospitals, something that many people don't know about family medicine. What I like most about my work is how many different things I can do, the diversity of it. Um, and I think that's what drew me to the profession, and that's what I enjoy the most about it every single day. I would say for students who are considering a future in medicine, it sounds very much like a cliche, but you have to be passionate about what you want to do. Medicine is hard. It's not hard because you have to be exceptionally brilliant to be a physician. Of course you have to be intelligent. More importantly, you have to be tenacious, persistent, resilient, and compassionate. And all those things can take a toll on you as a person. So, but when you love what you do, it's going to be, make it that much simpler and, and make you that much more effective. Understand when you go into medicine, which is, pro and it's probably true for many professions, you will be learning for the rest of your life. You will be growing as a person for the rest of your life. It's a commitment to yourself, to your patients, and to your community. Um, I get a lot of questions about the COVID crisis right now. Um, our hospital was hit quite hard by COVID <clears throat> and we dealt with it. And I, would, I, I try to be positive about things. I try to look at what we can learn from what we may perceive as a bad experience. Although COVID was a pandemic and although we had a large number of deaths um, due to COVID in Michigan, we have learned some really important lessons from COVID. We have learned how resilient we are as a community, how, how our healthcare system can adapt to changing needs, and how we are now delivering telemedicine, uh, using telemedicine for healthcare delivery. Uh, it's something that was explored in the past, but certainly not to the extent that it did during COVID time. And quite frankly, I think it's gonna continue even after this COVID pandemic is totally under control because telemedicine has now made healthcare accessible to those who have mobility issues. And I think it is, has great potential in rural healthcare and global healthcare. As a female physician, one of the things, questions I get very often is about work-life balance. How do you know when it's a good time to have kids? When do you have kids? How do you manage uh, your work and your, um, and your home life? That is a very individual, very personal um, situation. And it's gonna look different to each person. I would say the most important thing I have in, in doing this is having a, knowing yourself, what you want out of your life, personally and professionally, and knowing what your partner wants out of their life, professionally and personally, and how you're gonna make that, bring that together. Uh, my husband and I, he's also a physician. We have three children, uh, one of whom is actually a family medicine resident right now. Um, and um, I would say that it was, it was challenging. I'm not going to tell you it was easy, um, but it's certainly doable. And I will, I will also add the medical profession really has come a long way in um, understanding the importance of work-life balance. So I think for those of you just venturing into medicine, you really are going to reap the benefits of some of those changes that have now been implemented in, um, in medical schools, in residency programs, and in, in the healthcare environment. I wish all of you the best in the future, and I look forward to maybe seeing you as my student or working next to you as my colleague. Best of luck to all of you. Thank you very much.